Why do some artwork capture our attention and interest? Why do some artists get more support than others? Is it just a matter of luck or there are other reasons behind it? Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna answer these questions. But before we get there, I wanna let you know guys that Huion reached out to me and asked if I would be interested for testing the Huion Canvas Pro 16 4K Plus. And of course I said yes. So this is not a sponsor video by Huion. I didn't got paid to say anything good about this tablet. The Huion Canvas 16 is one of the latest drawing tablets from Huion. It boasts a 15.6 inch 4K display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. This means that every stroke you make is incredibly detailed and the colors are also great. The tablet comes with a stand which is good. The stand is also solid, you won't have to worry about the tablet wobbling around while you are working. However, you can tweak the angle as you like, so it's an okay stand. And of course guys, you will got all the connection cables that you need for your Mac or PC. One thing I really appreciate about this tablet is the pen. The pen feels very natural in my hand, almost like I'm drawing with a pencil on a paper. The pen is also very responsive. It accurately captures every movement and pressure variation, which is important when you are working on a detailed digital art. The pressure sensitivity is also great. The pen has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it also has a tilt range of 60 degrees. Installing the drivers is not that complicated. You can do that in just one click. However, I struggled a bit to connect my tablet to my PC. So I installed the drivers on my Mac to test that out and it was straightforward, no hustles or struggling. To be honest, I don't know if the problem was me or the driver, but I need to notice that for you guys. In any way, after 5 minutes, I was able to connect my canvas to my PC and everything works fine. All in all, this is a great tablet and I'm glad that I have the chance to test it out. So this is not a cheap tablet, but for the result that you can get, I believe that the tablet deserves the money. So if you look at the competitors, the prices are not even cheaper than this tablet. If you are interested guys, go check out the link down below or the first comment. So, we're gonna give this tablet a real test, and of course we're gonna use Blender. I'm gonna sculpt a female character using this tablet, and of course I wanna answer the question, so why some artwork capture our attention and interest? Why some artists get more support than others? Is it just a matter of luck? Or are there other reasons behind it? Art pieces are special because they make us feel and think in ways that nothing else can. They can be beautiful inspiring, emotional, or challenging, and each piece is unique. Artists are special, because they use their skills and creativity to bring those art pieces to life. Both art pieces and artists are special because they have the power to move and to connect with us. So think about it, art has the power to change the world, and artists make that change possible. That makes sense, right? However, not every artist can stand out with his art. So what is the secret behind that? Of course guys, we cannot talk about artists in general. We're gonna pick a niche and in our case, we're gonna go with character design artists. The first thing that pro artists learn is anatomy. Maybe you're thinking, okay, why should 3D artists learn anatomy? Understanding human anatomy is essential for 3D character artists who wanna create realistic or stylized characters. A good understanding of human anatomy helps 3D artists to switch into the next level. One great example is the Hulk from Marvel. The Hulk giant ripped physique was designed using anatomical knowledge of muscles and proportions. The designers wanted to create a character that looked incredibly strong and powerful. And they used their knowledge of muscle groups to accurately sculpt the Hulk, Balgan, biceps, triceps and so on. Another example is Disney's Frozen characters. Anna and Elsa were designed with a strong base of anatomy. The artists behind the characters had to consider the anatomy of the human face in order to create believable expressions for their characters. 
The anatomy of the hand, arm and shoulders were also taken into consideration when animating the sisters' movements, such as their dancing and fighting sequences. Alright, what should you learn next? Of course anatomy. There is one adjective that you probably heard a lot. Practicing, practicing and practicing my friend. Practicing is essential for 3D character artists to remain competitive. In the ever-evolving world of 3D art, new tools and techniques are always being developed. Artists who don't practice daily may find themselves being left behind. Furthermore, practicing helps artists to develop their own unique style and to become more efficient in their work. So be honest, when was the last time that you learned a new technique or a new tool in Blender? If you are brave enough, Share that with us in a comment. So guys, I don't have a single reference image for this character. So what did I do that? Of course, this is not a professional demonstration, but rather a test of my skills as I strive to improve. I'm applying what I have learned about human anatomy to this sculpture. So guys, as usual, I welcome your feedback for improvement. So feel free to share your knowledge with us in a comment. We will appreciate that. And finally, if you want to be a truly special artist, sometimes you need to break the rules that you have learned in human anatomy to create your own unique characters. Can you believe that? In fact, some of the most famous and impact art pieces through history have been created by artists who broke the rules and went against the norms of their time. Sometimes breaking the rules can be good for creativity, but it's still important to know the basics like anatomy and composition. These are important skills that you need to know first before you can make your unique designs. Even if you break the rules, it shouldn't mean that you are making a poor quality work. You need to have a strong understanding of the basics before you break the rules in a unique way that adds your skills as an artist. Okay guys, that was all about today's video. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you later. Bye!